more or less gutting this entire building to start again really to uh, fix up all the insides and remove everything that was here except for anything decent and then when that's all been done it's going to be all painted up again I think it's, it's going to be eventually they're trying to regenerate the building and get it looking as presentable enough so it can become like a youth centre or a community centre. It's just fantastic because you just keep finding new rooms. It's, I feel like I'm Alice in Wonderland and um, I just found like a new toilet that I didn't even know existed and I thought I found all the toilets. Um, so yeah, and it, it really feels lived in. It's got a lot of life. Why, why is he the important one? Because uh, he's got gloves on. Well, my friend that you were talking to a minute ago, he just like a... Uh, called me up one day and said, do you want to go down to a big building and do some lifting? And I thought, yeah, that sounds fun. It sounds exciting. It was better than, than doing what I was doing anyway, which is more or less just sitting around and getting rejection after rejection from jobs. Nobody wants anyone who's graduated in anything that involves thinking. It's not a nice <laughs> leave, Phil. And I'm here uh, to clean up this building, so that some brilliant theatre work can happen. Um, and it's a lovely building, got loads of character by some famous architect doing some modernist, styly stuff. Designed by the eminent ar architect Maxwell Fry in 1937, Kendall House was held at the time as the first modern housing scheme in Britain. My name is Helena Thompson and I'm the artistic director of a theatre company called SPID and we're based in a great two-star listed building called Kensal House, the community rooms uh, on a modernist council estate. What SPID specialises in is site-specific theatre. Uh, that means that we do our shows actually in the place where the story's set. The show that we're doing next is called Community Centre and it's set in a haunted community centre. That place is scary, don't go in there. We're looking to put that show on at the end of October and to involve people from the estate and the local area in the show itself. Um, primarily people from the estate. But we're working to quite a tight deadline. We're also concerned about whether people on the estate will actually want to get involved. So we want people who are involved in the show to uh, come up with the dialogue. A hand shot out, but it wasn't kind of like a normal hand. It was like oh, grey, no. and it looked like you could just do that. And it grabbed the little boy and took him into the mirror. It's for, it's for a drama company, a theatre company. I know as much as they often feature dead people, ghosts and things like that. Uh, the space feels quite haunted to us. And what is important about this space in particular is that it has been overlooked by most people interested in modernism. When the architect designed it, he laid uh, the living areas out quite differently from in traditional high-rise uh, council blocks. And the result is that there's less crime here and there's a, a more comforting feel to the estate. The tragedy is that despite all that, these community rooms, which are a great resort, have not been restored. So we feel like we're bringing Maxwell Fry's modernist vision to life.